Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for part two of Island Paradise. Now, I, I really, really, really encourage you guys to watch part one. Um, in the description of part one, actually, and in the description of this video, you're gonna get to know this family a little bit better so you can understand their dynamics, where they've came from, what they've been through, um, and they have a really detailed history. So it'd be really, really, really beneficial for you guys um, to get a better understanding of this Let's Play and check it out. Again, I do talk about it in part one and the description is down below. So anyways, here we are uh, again on Island Paradise. This is just a very super fast, quick little uh, view here. I want to just note that I did in fact um, I'm actually going to drop this down a little bit. I did change the weather. Um, I made summer 10 days and I made spring only four. I disabled um, snow because I mean it's a tropical paradise there's no snow and there will be no fall nor winter so anyways um, if you already know Chandler's an uncle and Simone is his niece and they currently just recently moved in together and uh, Chandler here didn't really have a place for for her to live so he picked a little empty um, houseboat on the edge of the island and uh, unfortunately there's not really much to be had on this boat at all um this is kind of what it looks like it's just an empty i think it's called a barge but i'm not a hundred percent sure so we need to spruce up this place a little bit these simoleons are um not accurate i actually do need to change them because i had to do a little finagling to get them to have a history but i will show you the family tree so again, Chandler is taking care of Simone because her father died while he was on a voyage trying to find these mythical creatures that these sims call mermaids. I don't know, he's nuts. Um, but his name was Carlos Valeres. He's actually buried at the local cemetery here in Isla Paradiso. He was a very handsome, handsome sim. Um, and uh, he was a little over emotional at times, but he was a great dad. Their mother left them, or her mother left her and her father when she was only a baby so she has no idea who she is or what she looks like and uh so they had a really close relationship and her only living relative is chandler so he is taking care of her he doesn't have a job he doesn't have anything he was just kind of living life by the seat of his pants and now he has to take this crap serious because he wants to carry it all in good faith in the name of his brother so these simoleons are actually supposed to be 16,000. I'm not going to, I'm going to fix them. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of create this little houseboat. And when I come back or when I am done, I will come back and show you guys. Alrighty, so I am finally finished with our boathouse. I only had 16,600 simoleons to spend. It wasn't really all that tough. Um, however, I only have $300 left, which means Chandler here has really got to get a job so we can be able to afford this humble abode. It is a two-level boathouse, and I'll go ahead and take you guys on inside. This is Chandler's room. There's not a lot going on quite yet. Remember, we are really broke. Um, this is Simone's room. Since our favorite color is aqua, I decided to kind of give her a blue um, Hawaiian themed room. The only really thing, the only real thing she has is a desk and her bed and then a picture of her father. I have a few other photos in their um, home inventory, but this is, this is her and him at the beach. Oh, something to remember him by at least. Um, then out here we have where Chandler will steer the houseboat. Um, I think it's a pretty good place. He can see the whole ocean blue. And uh, yeah, I'm not really sure where you're supposed to put this. So I just, I slapped it outside. And there's enough deck space to sunbathe and later put lounge chairs once we have um, a little more, a little more dinero. And this is the main floor here. It's kind of an awkward space. Like I totally exaggerated the downstairs. I could probably even put an extra room down here. Um, but for now, this is just what it looks like. Uh, we have our little kitchen area, our very pathetic, small little like entertainment section. Uh, and then our bathroom, which is all decked out in blue. And that's pretty much it. There's a door to go out on the main deck of the um, barge here. And that is pretty, pretty much it, I think. There's really nothing else, um, else to show. I was going to put a put a door here, but I didn't have enough money to do so. So yeah, a lot of sews, you know. Uh, and um, yep, $336. Chandler actually wants to own resort, which is exciting. But I think the first thing we need to do 
is get ourselves a job. Um, I don't know why she's all upset. I don't know what she was going to do. She's going to go splash in a puddle. Um, I just want to make sure everything works. So we're going to actually go have uh, Simone here go upstairs and view this photo of her and um, her dad. And then uh, Chandler is currently browsing the web. That never fails. Thinking of giving him or getting him a job in the lifeguard career here. So we need to go find a place where we can actually do that. And... Um, the only thing that Simone really needs to focus on is currently just building up, uh, or just high school really is all. And my computer is lagging so hard. This has been on like for a long time. Like I don't think I've shut down my computer for a couple days now. So if it's lagging, I do apologize. Um, this, there's no title on, on this photo. Uh, but yeah, that's just her and her dad. Um, the only way that we can cur currently tr uh, go anywhere is through our houseboat. Um, I'm not really sure where their nearest beach is, but we'll have to go ahead and, um, we'll have to find it. I th think there was a spot over here that you could, um, join the lifeguard career. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, no, it's not this one. Okay. Let me see here. There's only a few sections that I noticed, and I did see it earlier, so I know it is possible, but I'm not, like I said, not sure where it's at. So let me just get a minute here and uh, find it. So it looks like it's actually right here, um, and it's a little beach. I'm not sure what the name of the beach is for future reference. It's Bella's Vista Beach, and I don't even know where we are. Um, we're all the way over on this port. So we're going to have... Chandler here. Um, let's see. There's a port nearby. I'm still learning how to navigate, so forgive me. All right, so we have to actually have him go visit Port Pleasant, and that is the nearest port. So we'll have him go ahead and um, what is he doing? He's watching a cat video. All right, so we'll have him go ahead and uh, any day now, Chandler. Visit. Wait. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess I have to actually do this manually. This kind of sucks, but uh, we'll, we'll change port. There we go. All right. So hopefully this will work here. All right, here he comes. He's going upstairs. All right, select new ports. All righty. I think we're, we're going to do this. Port Pleasant. Here we come. Now, these things move at, like, super slug speed, so just... Just forgive me. And I'm having a lot of glitches and things like that. So again, just ex excuse. But here he goes. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm going to actually drop these walls down real quick because they're kind of getting in my way. Chandler looks like a pro or he looks like he's a pro at this. And uh, yeah, the boats go really slow. So I don't really um, recommend them for transportation purposes because you probably will get there like, you know, I don't know, the week after tomorrow. But He's having fun with it. He's doing pretty good. He looks really freaking fine doing so. Hopefully we didn't leave Simone. Nope, she's actually doing pretty good. She's watching some some sports. Okay, all right. Um, however, though, this like seriously makes me freaking dizzy. Ah, but it's so much fun. I love it. Okay, let's have her be done with this. There's nothing for her to do. Um, she doesn't really have a lifetime goal yet, I guess, so... Maybe she can go upstairs. I was wondering how you can, like, sunbathe. That would be cool if you could just do that. I think you have to have a towel of some sort. All right, well, I'll let her just watch this. Um, and let's see how far we are. Oh, my goodness, you guys. We have, whew, we have a long way to go. So I'm just going to speed them up a little bit. And um, when they arrive at Port Pleasant, I will pick up from there. Okay, so it's a few sim hours later, and you can tell we are almost arrived, or almost have arrived at our destination. Uh, one thing I might add is I forgot that they had a speedboat. I don't know how they got it, but I am totally not going to, like, complain about it. Um, so we'll just keep it in our inventory, and teens can actually whip these, these speedboats, which is pretty pretty cool um i'm definitely gonna have to probably lower my graphical settings because like this is just this is just annoying me the, the little little glitches but yeah we are almost there i can see it on the horizon i'm not sure if you gain any sort of like skill from learning how to boat but uh he's doing pretty good and like i said i think we are almost there um 
and he is feeling really, really, really warm. My idea is that we're just going to keep our boat on this island since there are all the main necessities here. And if we need to go anywhere, we can just use our speedboat. So I'm just going to speed on through still. I mean, like we are taking forever, but let's just see what it looks like coming in from the beach here. I think. Oh, there's a little. Oh, look, people are jet skiing. How fun. There's our boat in this channel looking like a little little Baywatch, babe. Oh, yes. All right. Here he comes. Wait for it. All right. This is going to be our new home, guys. <laughs> um, and for now on, we're leaving this boat here. I don't I, I'm not going to like no. This is this just takes way too long. And it seriously does. It, it like killed our whole day just getting here. But all right, we're here now. This is our new boat. And, um, oh, Simone, are you going to hug your uncle? She loves him. They have a really good relationship. Oh. They really do. All right, so, oh, uh, and another hug. Okay, awesome. So uh, let's get him off this boat, and we're going to have him go over here, visit Bella Vista Beach, and we will visit with Simone, of course, because um, we're going to take her with us. And I don't know if we're gonna go on our speedboats, but it looks like we're just gonna we're just gonna run there real quick. Do do do, and it's six o'clock, you guys. I can't even believe it. It's not even that. Like I feel like we haven't even been filming that long. Ooh, I see some hotties on the beach, Chandler. You, ooh, you're gonna love this job. All right, so here we come. Oh my gosh, how did they get these towels? How 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 how? Oh my gosh, I love them. I do, and speaking of which, I forgot to show you guys. Oh, the girls' bathing suits, I think. And you can read? Nice. Ooh, she's cute. Okay. Um, anyways, let's see. Go ahead and we will join the lifeguard career. Okay, so it says CPR dummy. Our weekly stipend is only 276 simoleons. We'll work from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We'll work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, or Sunday actually. And the description says, need a job that will make you feel like a hero? If rescuing drowning sims and applying CPR to sims that are in need seems appealing, then look no further. The lifeguard career is for sims that are looking out for the safety of others against the ferociousness of the ocean waters. Alrighty. So we have officially um, picked the job and uh, we will start to, well, we'll start Wednesday. It says Chandler is now part of the class heroes. No, there are no powers involved, but the job of saving lives makes one a hero. Go to the beach, look for out other sims and keep the beaches safe. So I think Chandler would be perfect for that. Um, what is she doing? She wants to go ahead and swim around in the, oh, the water and Chandler is going to go ahead and uh, get himself a little bit of a of a tan. And he looks so cute. Like, he's just so handsome. I love him already. And he is thinking about who? Who are you thinking about? You're thinking about this girl over here. Oh, I'm assuming they're together then. Uh, let's go check up on Simone. She's just about to head in the waters here. And I love, love, love her bathing suit. Again, I'm not sure if I forgot. <laughs> To show you all the female, um, the female clothes or somewhere, but if I did, that really sucks. So I don't know. I'll try to fix that before I upload this. By the way, part one and part two are filmed together. So what is she doing? She is playing in the ocean. And who is this coming up on the speedboat? We have Jung Shuang. Oh, that's so cute. Can you do anything else in this ocean? We can snorkel. Let's go ahead and see what snorkeling looks like. While she, while her uh, uncle here catches a tan, um, what is he doing? Is he still? Oh, I think he's thinking about. Oh, he's thinking about Mrs. Hottie Pants too. Oh, you little devil, you Chandler. <laughs> what is she doing? She's just standing there. Are you gonna go snorkel or are you gonna stand? What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Oh, she can't do it. Okay, why not? Why not? Let's try again. Okay, let's try again. Maybe she's. I don't know. We'll see what we can do here. Do, do, do. I don't know. This is kind of weird. She's in our clothes. Okay, let's try this one more time. If it works, if it doesn't, we'll try again later. I'm not really worried about it. And wow, it is so nice outside right now. The water is perfect. There are also like certain areas you can snorkel at. Oh, for some reason we can't snorkel. It says whatever that does. I don't know. Um, we'll try again somewhere else. So she's really, really, really hungry right now. And where is Chandler? 
He is still thinking about this girl over here, Lupita Alto. <gasps> are these baby turtles? <gasps> no. I was gonna say, those are, oh my gosh, I thought they were turtles. They are so cute, but they're not, they're not turtles at all. All right, so let's go see if we can get somewhere to get something to eat somewhere. Um, there is the local diner. I'm thinking we're gonna go here and eat. Um, we'll eat with, uh, with Chandler, but of course we gotta go ahead and form a group with him real quick. And I think he is still sunbathing, um, but he is hungry. Gosh, he looks like such a stud muffin just laying there in his little pink toya. All right, let me see. Can she go over here? Go here. Okay, and then we're gonna form a group with him. Is she sick? What a sucky way to start the day. Chandler, wake up. Hopefully we can keep this towel. I don't know, that'd be cool. But I don't think you can. I think it's only like a beach option. Dude, no, get up, get up, get up. Don't you dare, Chandler, don't you dare. Don't you dare, come on. Come on, Simone. Splamoni, that's what I'm gonna call her. Come on, what are you doing, get up, no. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I can tell already how annoying this is going to be. Ah, stop doing that, go over here. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. This is so annoying. Okay, don't do it, Simone. Don't do it. Okay, whew, we got it. All right, now let's go over here and uh, let's see. Can we um, can we form a group with her really quick? I don't know. Well, nevertheless, we will just go over there together. Um, and this is the diner slash grocery store, which is pretty damn cool looking. And we'll go here with Chander and we'll just eat separately. But I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I think we'll be taking a taxi cab. I couldn't imagine us running or boating. Um, that sucks about the snorkeling situation, but uh, we'll definitely have to experiment with that tomorrow since Chandler has the day off. And that would be a lot, a lot of fun. So, all right, here we go. That was pretty quick. Everything is really local on this little smaller island. Um, there's a few, I guess it's just more private and quaint. Like there's a few options, not a lot, but it works. All right, so diner, eat here with group, and they're gonna grab a little, a little munchies, because, you know, swimming and pretending to be snorkeling kind of works up a sweat. This girl looks like Angelina Jolie. Oh, jeez. Maybe that. But uh, if you all are wondering, is love in the cards for Sir Chandler? Of course it is. He's kind of playing the field right now. I wouldn't really say that he's into the ladies. I mean, he is into the ladies. He loves ladies. But uh, um, he, he's mostly focused on this new responsibility and fulfilling his brother's dream of finding the mermaids to prove that he's not a nut job and most importantly opening up a resort and we want to we want to make it a spanish theme maybe and of course have it um in memoir or memory I don't know, i'm trying to be fancy again uh memory of his of his uncle so I think that's pretty much it for this area. I think we could go back to our houseboat. Um, I'm wondering what skills Chandler would have to do being a um, being a uh, lifeguard and all. Probably, I would assume, working out and stuff like that. So let's see if we can go back home, go here with group. Um, the only thing I don't like so far, I mean, I guess I like it, you know, I guess it's just the boat situation. I wish they went a little bit faster, but I guess that is why they put boats and other things as a means of transportation, you know what I mean? But I feel like it just goes so damn slow. But I'm glad we, we got this speedboat. I don't know how we got it, but we did. And I'm not complaining at all. So let's have them go inside here. Hopefully $300 will, will work. She does, um, she probably should get a part-time job of some sort, but I really don't know if I wanna have her work. I really want her to focus on her studies. So, um, I don't know. What can we do? Let's try to snorkel again. I don't know if we can, but we'll, we'll try. Chandler, however, he's got to go to the bathroom. Oh, Simone, did you not flush the toilet? All right, flush the toilet. He's got to use the toilet. And uh, I think, let's see, I'm going to actually set the intensity to these lights to all lights and bright so we can see a lot better. Um, and then I think I'll just go, he'll go to sleep. He's going to have an early night tonight. Is she snorkeling yet? Oh, I think she might snorkel. 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 <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to see anything, but oh, she has a mood lit saying wonderful water. Sims that love to swim uh, can't get enough of being in cool waters. And it might not have been deep enough where she was, or she might be too tired. Oh, yeah, she's too tired to snorkel. All right, well, whatever. We'll definitely have to try, but I think it would have been a success. So this is our port. 
And I noticed a little parking space over here too, which is pretty cool. And uh, Sims can actually, or teen Sims can actually drive the boats, which is really strange to me that they can, they can drive. I, I thought maybe there'd be some sort of like lesson to be learned since you have to learn how to drive a, a car, but um, I guess not. So anyway, I'm actually gonna have them go hit the sheets. It is super late and Simone needs to go to school tomorrow, I think, or no. Whoa, she doesn't start school for three days. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, so Simone's not going to school, but they're going to get up and they're going to enjoy this island for what little money they have. And they're just going to have a good time. So I think I'll end part number two here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to, uh, you know, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in part two of Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. Bye-bye.